Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna introduce a free 25GB network cloud disk drive to you. Infinity Cloud is the provider coming from Japan. Not only because of its cloud is fast, it's mainly because it supports web dev protocol, which means you can directly mount it to your Windows to get extra space for free. If you watched my previous videos, you will see I have tons of videos talking about the different cloud drives. T drive, free unlimited cloud storage drive based on Telegram API. And Azure Blob storage, you can access it using different protocols, FireShares, NFS version 3. You also will see I have quite a few programs to show you how to list your Google Drive, OneDrive in a website. Especially for this scale with 75 gigabyte storage using S3 bucket so you can mount it to your VPS as an actual storage. I also using Tabby.io as my image hosting storage integrated with ShareX, so all my screenshots automatically save to the tabby.io. So if you are interested in those free cloud storage, I'm suggesting you to search on my channel to find out those videos. You might find something really helpful for your own personal purpose. So now let's start to talk about the Infinite Cloud. Infinity Cloud originally was rebranded from TeleCloud. The domain has changed to infinity-cloud.net. To get uh, access to it is very simple. That's a lot of thing I like it. You just create an account, you get 20 gigabyte free, and then later on you can apply that for code. You can get 5 gigabyte extra, and you don't need to provide too much personal information. One email address is enough. So let's go through this process. Click offline, you will get this next button enabled. So I'm going to save the password and you will get the email right away. You will get the email similar like this and then just copy or click link here to verify. Basically, just verify your email address. In a second, once verified, then you should be able to get these four options here for you to select. My page, file browser, upgrade, support. My page is the page you can have your settings. Um, you need to log in, of course. Save it again for this web page. So as you can see, there's a plan and the capacity here. It's a free plan. It's a 20 gigabyte. And they will give you referral code. To get actual 5 gigabytes, you can go to my web page and uh, you can see the referral code I have. So. Once you put it in, right away you will get 5 gigabytes extra. Refresh page. You get at least 5 gigabytes extra. At the same time, because you are using my referral code for TPLX, I will get 2 gigabytes extra for myself as well. So please use it, I will get more. So that's basic settings for your website. Of course, you can go to the Fire Browser to see your files, which is a um, web browser to access your files directly. You don't need extra client as long as you log into website and you can access it. They already have a couple introduction PDF files here. So that's basic process for your register account, get extra 
5 gig storage space. The main purpose of this video is show you how to mount this free 25 gigabyte to your Windows to expand your storage on your computer. So to do that, we just need to turn on apps connection. So here is the settings in your page. So just turn it on. Right away, you see a couple of settings which you need to copy it out. The web dev connection URL and apps password. The apps password only show once. So once you close the page, apps password gonna go away. So you won't be able to just strongly suggest you copy all those things out. Just paste in somewhere you save. You can safely store it to use it later. But of course, if you feel forgot your app's password, you always can reissue one. Just click here, and then you can reissue one for you to get a new one. So basically, you get a new app's password to replace that anytime. So I'm gonna use in a Windows machine to testing for it. As long as you open File Explorer, the function is already built in. Just right click your this PC you will see map network drive. So here is a folder. Folder name is your web dev connection URL. Just copy this web dev connection URL. Then you will get to your folder. Also, don't forget your connection ID and the password. Let's copy this password. So we're gonna connect it using different credentials from your credential login to your Windows. So click both and you want to reconnect it next time when you reboot your computer. And you also want to save it. So just click finish, wait a couple of seconds, it will ask in your credential. So the username is your account name ID for Infinite Cloud. The password is app password, that one only shows one time. So remember your credentials, remember this, so it will save it on your local computer. Next time you don't have to enter it again. Okay. Right away it's connected. As you can see you will get a new drive on your computer. So the last drive, Z drive, is your web dev drive from Infinite Cloud. So that is how simple you can expand your Windows local drive to your cloud drive. Much easier to use. Windows 10, Windows 11 already has built-in support for web dev protocol, but not for Windows servers. So in this part, I'm going to quickly show you how to get your Windows Server to support an mounted web dev. So what I mean is not built-in support is because once you do same thing, you're trying to mount this web dev URL, it will not let you do it. It will just say cannot access to it. The reason why, because this one protocol support feature not sub installed it. To launch Server Manager, you can click your Windows button Server Manager or run it from your run window Server Manager. It's simple, just click on it, then you will get this Server Manager dashboard. Go to Manage and we're going to add a new feature. Next, next, next. In the features window, scroll down. So there's a web dev redirector. Just choose that, install it. You might need to reboot your Windows machine, but that's the only thing you need to do. After that, your Windows server 
will be supporting web dev protocol well. But if you are using Windows 2012, that will be different process. It will you will need a little bit more components to be installed. But I don't think anybody using Windows 2012 that much right now. So it's finish it and the restart will be required as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is gonna reboot our machine. So the system come back and uh, we should be able to do whatever we need to do to mount this Infini Cloud Web Dev URL. So what we can do is we just need to open File Explorer, same as we did for Windows 11 machine. That's uh, just a map network drive. Of course, you need to know the username, password, and the URL path. This time, it won't give you an error message. So the username and password, make sure you remember your credentials. That's pretty much it is how you can mount it, very simple. So I don't have any large file, so I'm going to create one. Put on the command line. I'm going to create a one gigabyte file on a C drive. Then we're going to copy to here. You will see how fast it will be. We're going to use in task manager. It shows really fast, but it's caching it. Actual speed, it will show here. It will stop around at the 99% complete because it's completely cached. Now it's uploading. So we are going to let it run and I will come back once it's done. I will show you how it looks like. So the speed is here, shows between 12 to 14. If you want to actually see the actual speed, you can open resource monitor. Then you will see network. It's a 1.6 bytes per second. You need to multiple eight to get the real number. This is bytes. So let this session speed they are doing transmitting the files. Other sessions is for RDP for other traffic. So this is the one way to get more accurate speed. So again, as I said, we're gonna leave it alone. I will come back once it's done. So the copy process has been completed. As you can see, there's no more traffic to be sent out and uh, you will see this one gigabyte test file has been copied to our web dev folder so there's one more thing i want to show you which is very interesting by default windows will not let you to download the large file so i'm trying to download this one gigabyte dot test file to local on my desktop It will show you the file size exceeds the limit allowed and cannot be saved. So that's a very interesting part. So even if we enabled web dev support, but still have this file size limitation on your Windows machine. So we're gonna fix it in the next step. To fix this, actually, it's really, really simple. Um, we can just using our registry key to do this job. We go to local machine, go to system, calendar control set, services, web, web client, parameters, and file size limit. So right now it's about 50 meg. So we're gonna increase it to 5 gig. But unfortunately the decimal for the D was 32 bit only can go high to 
4 gigabyte, 4.2 gigabytes of RAM. So that's still enough for us. So we're going to enable that. Um, you need to reboot the computer to make it take into effect. So we're going to reboot it and then try it again once it comes back. System just reboot it. We're going to give it try again to download the file to our desktop. We open our file explorer. We connect into our web dev folder. Right away, we see all files there. So we're going to download it. Just drag this file to local. Let's see. Now you can see it's calculating the downloading time for us. So we're going to enable our task manager to see the speed. Uh, we are receiving it. It's around 50 to 60 Mac BPS bit per second, not byte. So not too bad, so, but it's not close to 200 what the, the vendor says to us. It's a free plan, what you want to expect it. We are just hoping it can be existing on the market longer. Also, this web drive has some apps on your phone, so you can use directly from your phone. The support is pretty good as well. The documentation is enough detailed. Yeah, I think I will use it for a while to see how it goes. That's pretty much all for my list video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give me some up. And also, please subscribe my channel to support me. See you in my next video. Thank you.